Folks, Earthmaster here jumping in with a quick update video on this Saturday night, January 2nd, 2021 is the date, 9.55 p.m., where we got the latest quake on the globe, a 4.2 out there in Idaho. Just happened a short time ago. You can see right there on the uh, scale here that it's uh, kind of, well, it's kind of out of the ordinary area where we're seeing all the earthquake activity in the past go ahead and pop in these uh, small magnitude quakes there you can see this quake kind of striking well away from the sawtooth fault system in an area where like i said we haven't seen a whole lot of earthquake activity around the uh, looks like the caribou range over here i believe a few years ago we did see a little swarming over in this area of idaho <clears throat> i can't remember what year it was uh, but I remember watching that down here. Hasn't been a whole lot recently. You can go back to the last seven days here and you can see uh, this is a 2.5 and above. Nothing really to report over in this area. Even uh, 30 days back uh, with a 2.5 and above. You can see uh, not much at all back there in this area of, of uh, Idaho. So, interesting movement. Also along the west coast, we did have uh, another earthquake close to the Sandra's fault system. But just to the west, I guess, if you will, over here on the Pacific side of the plate boundary. Here Gonzales, Soledad, and Salinas up here. There's that little cluster of quakes right along the uh, plate boundary called the San Andreas Fault. This 3.3 struck... Uh, at about five kilometers below surface, it's, uh, about a couple hours ago now, I believe. When that's well, no, 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 I take that back. Not a couple hours ago. We're looking at zero five twenty one UTC time. So, uh, oh, what do we got here? Zero five twenty one about half an hour ago. That's right. Not for sure. A couple hours ago. I'm not time traveling. Uh, so yeah, just under an hour, because uh, that makes sense, right? Red circle within the last hour. And shortly thereafter, that's when we've seen the activity up here in Idaho kicking off. There's really not a whole lot of movement um, aside from those two recent quakes there that I just kind of pointed out. Ridge, uh, Ridgecrest area is still seeing some uh, aftershock activity, but uh, not on the uptick at all over there. Did have a little quake off the coast of Oregon in the uh, Blanco Fracture Zone, a 3.4. Uh, ways away from the Cascadia subduction zone, but still, nonetheless, uh, what goes on here ultimately affects what goes on here, so to speak, along the uh, Cascadia megathrust area. Inland, not a whole lot of movement. Um, even Yellowstone, probably, I don't believe they're having a whole lot of uh, swarming going on. We'll check that real quick here. You can see that 4.2 starting to show up on some of these uh, seismograph stations there pretty significantly. Uh, but, uh, hold on one second here. Okay, so yeah, a little bit of swarming going on over here towards the uh, northwest part of the park, uh, Maple Creek area, Madison River. Some spikes there. You see those little individual spikes indicating uh, microquakes. Uh, let's see what else we got to talk about. Trimmer department. As you can see, I'm sure you can hear that dog in the background. Not my dog. Uh, uh, not a whole lot of trimmer movement popping off there along the Cascadia subduction zone either. As far as global worldwide activity. Looks like a 5.1 there. Latest quake over there along this section of the Pacific Plate. This was prior to the 4.2 there in Idaho. Other than that, just some deeper movement down there around the Fiji Islands area. You know, someone asked about uh, earthquake activity in Antarctica. No doubt they do get earthquake activity down there, but uh, they mentioned about something big going on down there. Uh, if there was something big going on down there, like a big 8-9 pointer, uh, that thing would show up on the seismograph stations uh, like crazy. 
and uh, so far we're just not seeing that over the past couple days. I don't. I'll go back and check. Anyway, uh, I think I need to go take a trip outside see what's going on with all the dogs barking. Um, I do want to check here in the Idaho area real quick here to see if any folks felt that earthquake out there, that 4.2 near the Caribou Range. And uh, yes, there is quite a few folks uh, reported feeling that in, the, uh, in this region. Looks like a few folks reported feeling the uh, shaking as a moderate, potentially strong there. That's kind of, you know, pretty close to the epicenter, so I guess that could be uh, uh, potentially correct. And then again, maybe not. It's a ways distance. It's kind of a distance off there. Uh, about, about five or ten miles or so, not directly underneath this epicenter, but still, you know, people definitely reporting it out there. All right, folks, um, I'm going to jump off here. just wanted to do a quick, very quick update video, <clears throat> and we'll chat you guys sometime tomorrow. Uh, movement, like I said, along the Earth is still uh, still very active there. Just uh, no really main points out here to, uh, no, no main areas to point out aside from uh, that odd earthquake right now in Idaho, southeast Idaho and the movement along the San Andreas Fault there. I believe that's just an obvious sign still of uh, uh, definite pressure and movement out here along the North American Pacific Plate. So, as always, definitely got to uh, watch that region. Alright guys, stay safe out there. <clears throat> we'll catch you guys sometime tomorrow. Good night. Peace out.